How to play Steam games on a Mac. Hi everyone, welcome back. Here's a video tutorial on how to play Steam games on a Mac. For this video, we will be using our Steam application. So if you don't have it just yet, just go to the website store.steampower.com slash login slash. And on this page, you should see install Steam on the right top corner. And just click on that and follow the steps on how to download it. And you may also just log in on the browser and play from the browser if you prefer. But for this video, let's go to the application. So let's go to my account here. And as you can see, we're on store. And we have several options on the left top corner as well. Click on library in order for you to see the games that you have already downloaded on your account or on your Mac. I have a few games downloaded here, but be very mindful because you can download everything, but at the same time, it still wouldn't run on your account. This is due to the compatibility of your OS to the game. So yeah, that's just something to watch out for. Like for example, I have two games, Plants vs. Zombies and this one, I was able to add them, but I can't play them because of that. So yeah, if you don't have any games out here though, the first step that you have to do is to download one. So you can just click on add a game at the bottom right corner of this, bottom left corner of this page, or just simply click store. Now this is where you can see all of the games available on Steam and it's a lot but the good thing is it's categorized so you can just hover your cursor on categories on this uh, at the top portion of the page and this is where you can see all the genre. Now I like to click on free to play so I don't have to pay for anything but just select whatever you want from here and whether the game is free or not the process will be the same. So I'll go here and yeah, this is where you can see all the games that are free. And you can just filter it if you want action, click on action, adventure, etc. But I like to scroll all the way down and choose from the list. Or you can just simply go to the search bar and actually type the name of the game you're looking for. Um, but you may also just go to the side or left side corner of the page to go over the genre we have here. But I'm looking for a simple game. So maybe I'll just go to genre and go to card game because I want a game that doesn't really consume a lot of space. So on the list, as you can see, we have games with Apple or Windows logo in it. Make sure to click the one with the Apple logo. Like this one, for example, Super Auto Pets. Just click on Add to Account once you found the game you're looking for, and you should see this come up. Now, as you can see, it only has it is only 472 megabytes, so I can download that. You can just you can create a desktop shortcut or not. It's up to you, but just simply click on Install, and then just accept the terms and conditions, and your download started. You can click on this and that should bring you to the downloads on your library wherein you can see the other details about your download. So let's just wait for it to complete and once your download is finished you should see the game under completed and there should be an option to start playing the game. This one. You can click play there or you can just go to library go to home and just look for the game, click on the game, and then you can just click play from here. Now clicking play here should launch the game itself and just basically start enjoying the game from there. Follow all the necessary steps that you need to do in order to start playing the game like accepting the terms of service, etc. But once you are done playing the game, you should have an option to quit or exit to desktop somewhere in the game interface. And when you click on that, that should bring you back to your Steam account. And that's how easy it is to play Steam games on a Mac. If you found this video helpful, feel free to let us know in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. 
Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.